Hi folks, Jay from Broken Arrow Archery here. Um, today we're going we're at the Caboolture Bowman Club. Nice quiet Sunday morning. Uh, we're going to come down here and get a few um, sights on the range, get a, get our sights ready, and then I'm here with Alan today, and I'm just starting to get back into 3D archery and going to probably do the full circuit next year. And I've been doing a few few of the uh, point shoots, and I found that my distance estimation is very rusty you know so we do um unmarked i'm shooting the, the bow hunter fingers category so i have a maximum range of 35 yards and i do all right but i find that my distance estimation is very rusty so very poor so i'm down here today at the club we're just going to walk around the bush um, do a bit of rain like you know estimating and then checking it with the range finder uh, we've got a couple of targets alan's brought a couple of targets out so we're going to set them up um, and do the same thing. I'll, I'll you know, range it myself, um, and then Alan will range it, and he'll we'll discuss about, you know, what what techniques he uses to um, judge the distance, and what I'm using, and just try and work out the best way to do it. And yeah, we'll take some shots, see how we go. So it's about learning today, learning uh, distance estimation. I already know I can shoot fairly well, so. If I can get my distance judging up to speed, um, should gain me a few points. All right, so I'll be we'll be down the practice range shortly, getting some ranges. So I might even get a bit of footage there, and we'll continue on. Okay, so down here on the practice range, um, like I said, I only have my I've set up another bow, a hoid of all things. Um, I only have a 20 yard sight, so I'm going to uh, get like 25, 30, and 35. That'll cover me for the distances that I need today. Um, Al's just down there collecting his arrows, so what I've done is, uh, oh, got pen marks on my site there. So I've got a 20 mark, if we ignore the old ones up the top. I've got a 20 and I've taken a bit of a rough guess of where I think 30 is going to be. And I'll shoot some shots there, just make sure I can get it dialed in right, put a mark, and then uh, do the same thing for 25 and 35. Right, that one's gone just a little bit low. Not much. Shoot a couple more and see. A bit hard with the sunglasses on. Alright, not much. We'll drop that down a little bit lower. Alright, that's looking pretty good for 30. I will do another one to be sure. Yep. All right, so yeah, we've got our ciders on the practice range. So I've got marks for um, 20, 25, 30, and 35 for me. Um, Al's double checked his. I think you shoot bow hunter, uh, advanced bow hunter? Advanced bow hunter, yeah. And you shoot at 45 uh, yards? 40. 40, 40 yards. yards, okay. Yeah, so Al's shooting pins. You shoot five pins? Uh, three. Three pins? Yep. Okay, so what sort of distance will you set their pins at? Uh, 20, 30, and 40 yards just seems to be pretty easy 20, 30, for me. 40? Yeah, yeah. Just so 40's max. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, Fair enough. just nice and easy. Okay, so this is our lane that we've picked. Um, up over that gap in the, just on the very, well, the large tree in the centre of the top of the screen, just to the right of that, there's a uh, cougar. I think it's a mountain lion, something like that. Cougar. We can only see the top half of it over the bank, so I've got to estimate the distance on there. So, um, you know, um, so I'm thinking that big pine tree back there is so 10, 20. So, I'm thinking it's probably like 21 yards or something like that for me. So, I might just get Al to hop up here and stand there and see what he thinks. So I'm thinking like that big pine tree on the left is like 18 yards or something. Yeah, close 18. to it. And then, yeah, I'm guessing it's about three behind that. Yep. I'm yeah, well, I, yeah, I'm sort of looking at the, the bright little piece of grass that you can sort of see. I'm sort of calling that. Because oh, that in, little yep. L thing? Yeah, yep. Which I'm, is in front of the zone? Pretty much. So I'm always constantly sort of looking towards the zone and then what I can pick around it. But yeah, I'd say... 
Yeah, probably 21, 22 yards. Okay. From well, we might here. Yeah, we'll try and out and just confirm that. Um, like I said, we are starting off fairly easy. So if this was further back over the mound and I couldn't see how far away the animal was. Oof. I'm reading 24, nearly yeah, 25. same. Yeah, okay. And maybe I did stick it a little bit further over that yeah, rise. Hard to tell. So what happens is that, yeah, we're shooting up over a rise, it drops off and the animal is, for, is over the rise. You can't tell how far back it is from the rise. Um, it's got a bit of bright sunshine on it, so it probably makes it look closer than it is. So, you know, I would have dialed up probably 21 and gone low on this bugger. Yeah, so, um, same. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the trouble with I, what I do sometimes too is like eyeball what I think is 10 yards like back from in front of the animal and then maybe another 10 yards and go, okay, well, you know, that's here and add on the different sort of thing. And I'll try, try and do the same thing, but forwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I and find then... it easier backwards. I don't know, there's lots of things I do. I, like at our shop, we've got a 10 yard line, so yeah, I, I can picture that yeah. pretty well. So I look at it, but when it's uphill, it changes everything. That 10 yards, you know, there's a yard either side yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I might, yeah. Anyway, we've, 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 we should have shot our shot before we... I was, going to, I was actually thinking that. We would have hit the dirt. Anyway, we'll take a shot. Um, I don't know if you just need to watch this, but... I'm, t I'm true to tradition. I'm still going to shoot it for 21. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm already on 25, so we'll start. So I'm just going to take a shot. Oh, the other thing we need to do is look where the zone is. Yeah, good luck. Probably a good idea, but no, it's... I'm just going to go where I think it is. Wow, it's going to go through some yeah. grass. <clears throat> Got to come to sort of the right-hand side of that piece of grass we were talking about. Yeah. Oof. Bottom, <laughs> of the, bottom of the 10. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, geez, maybe I won't be able to shoot it for 21. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a 25. I can't even see the zone now. I'm going to just poke it. Yeah, an yeah. arrow up in front, give you an idea. So the animal is up there, just on that little bank rise there, disappearing over the back. I might have gone low too, man. All right, we'll walk the camera up there and set this down. Okay, yeah, so I've just gone 10 and L's just gone under into the eight. Yeah. Hmm. Should be able to zoom that in. Wasn't much dead ground, but it's enough, isn't it? It's surprising how far, yeah, that is easily five yards back from that tree that I was, yeah. Definitely. It didn't look like. All right, well, we're gonna have a shot at the turkey now that's back here. I might as well do that from yeah. here. Turkeys uh, have very small uh, zones on them. So anyway, I'm gonna, this, is a, this is just a fairly flat, slightly uphill. Okay, so we're about three yards behind the cougar that we just shot. Um, the turkey's up there near the bags. So like I said, there's no trees in between us and the target, a few off to the right, but they're not really gonna help much. So I'm going to measure back 10 yards from the animal towards me, which I think, if I can get my arrow up there, somewhere you know, along that bright bright light there somewhere, would be about 10 yards. Yeah. And then I'm thinking another 10 yards is, is somewhere close to the, the cougar here, maybe just in front of it, and we're about four past it. So it's going to be very similar, I think, the last target, 25 yards. Yeah. Um, but you do, you, you go forward, you measure the other way, don't you? Yeah, you I go forward. So you look so. 10 yards out, so same deal, probably where that dark shadow of Pretty what much. that tree is. Yep, just Could on, be even a little further. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm actually, actually going to go probably closer go, to 26. Yeah, okay. Because, yeah, when you measure it back this way, like, I reckon that dark shadow. And this is also, which, like, even though it's a is, smaller target. That, that dark shadow there, the top edge of that, yep. looks about 10 yards from where we are. Yep. And it, you know, looks then easily, you know, another, another 10 yards and, and, and more. So yep. like, and this is also, this is a, a slightly taller target, even though it's a smaller target, it's taller too, which is also a slight optical illusion. 
Yeah. All right, so I mean, then should we run? We're going to shoot it first. Yeah, we're going to shoot it this time. Check out our, our uh, what we're doing. Right, well, I'm going to go just slightly longer than what I shot the last one. We zoomed in on that. Yep. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Uh, smidge low. It's a little low. Good line. So that means it's probably a bit further away than I expected. So while Alan's having his shot, I'll get my rangefinder out. I'm still thinking around that 26 mark. And everybody's rangefinders always read differently. Yeah. Um, as long as you, it doesn't matter whether they're right or they're wrong, as long as you set your sights according to your rangefinder, it doesn't make any difference then. Right. Well, believe it or not, my rangefinder says 31. Wow. <laughs> Which explains why we went <laughs> yeah, low. Yeah, it would. <laughs> wow, yeah, okay. Well, this Jeez, you wouldn't think that, black would you? Target. Oh. Try and get uh, 29.7. It's yeah, hovering around that 30 yards hard with that dark target. Yeah, I got 31. Well, there you go. Why we're going low? Wow, that's you know it's deceptive, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, let's pull more, some arrows. Yeah, more dead ground than we thought. All right. Uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know if you saw the result of that, but we both went low on that. We ranged it up. And it was like 29 or 30 yards. We both estimated, you know, 25, 26. Again, it's just that last three or four meters to the target, which you can't see the ground. It dips over, and you can't see the ground, so it makes the turkey looks like it's sitting on the mound in front, and you lose that three or four yards, and you go low into the five. <laughs> Very interesting. We both both lost on that one. So we're going to go around on the red range and like not tuck cut all the animals around so there's some bags and carpet and stuff out there we'll just do the same thing try and find some dead ground have a bit of an estimation try to understand why we misjudged or got it right so we talked in a minute camera's rolling so what we've done here we've just walked out onto the red range and there's a few bales out here that we can shoot at um, so in one of the lanes here the bales up the end uh, we thought we'd just walk up to like what I think my max is 35 yards and stop where I think 35 yards is and we'll take a shot There's a little uh, piece of carpet or cardboard down there with a little circle and a cross on it So we'll shoot for that um, So we walked up I've just Used the ground because it's fairly flat. There's a few logs laying across the path, but they're not really hurting anything so I'm thinking where I'm standing here, I've made, counted like 10 back, 20 back, 30 back, and then what I think is another five. So we'll take a shot. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I've just gone about six inches high of that spot. Which, yeah, okay. I'm yeah. going back there somewhere. Yeah, all right, okay. So I'll drop me sunnies too, I better pick them up. Um, get the rangey and have a bit of a look. So, going by that, that's probably more like 30 or 31 or something. No, 28. Holy smoke. See, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to lie, I cheated. I actually used the rangefinder. And just because I was sitting there going, yes, no, yes, and yes, no. <laughs> it, is, it is different looking at a... A bale rather than an animal too. You yeah, because and the target we, we know a lot how higher. big that bale is, but yeah, looking at a higher target. I'm just trying as to well. figure out like why, why, why did I think that was further away? Because we've trapped ourselves so much, like on the dead ground already. We've we're adding more into the dead ground because we've been caught up on it already. So yeah. with in our minds, we're thinking yeah, we were more. short before. Yeah, so now we're adding instead. Yeah. And sometimes, like, you know, these logs, even though they're just on the ground and it's fairly flat, I guess they can, they can, yeah, you lock in them. I think I was watching uh, one of the 
bloody shot of the day things with PJ Riley and Dan McCarthy and he's saying, you know, he doesn't use trees to judge, you know, because like I said, I know what 20 yards is. I'll look at that tree and go, yeah, that's, yeah, because it could be a yard either side yeah. of that. And if you call that 20 and then you, the next then you add, you know, you think, oh, well, it's only 10 more to there, which is really nine. <laughs> and then another, you know, it puts you out. So. Yeah, well, for example, like, well, where we're standing now with what we've ranged, we know that that second log is actually closer to the 20 mark. <laughs> well, yeah, it's probably five or six in front of them, isn't it? Yeah. See, that's the thing, that, that second log, and I'll turn the camera around and show you guys, but that second log, I guess at first glance you think, oh yeah, it's only a couple of yards in front, but the reality is that's probably four or five yards yeah. in front of that bale. If not further. Yeah. All right, so there's our bale. Um, where are we here? Hard to see on this. Uh, so there's a log running across the front here, which hasn't really had much effect, but that second log that's up there running from that tree across that way is probably what's fooled me. I've initially thought the distance between that log and the target was a couple of yards, but in reality it's, you know, when we get down there and now that I've shot high, that's probably four to five yards back to the bale. Um, so we might just, I don't know, what do you want to... Well, I've put my bow roughly where I reckon 35 is. So Al's put But I've, bow. I've ranged it from here, so I've got a bit of an advantage. Yeah. Al's, Al's back there where he thinks 35 yards is. Um, so I've walked way forward of that and been out by a lot. So Al's going to um, take his shot from there, and then we'll see how close he is and range it from back there. Yeah. Definitely makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, I honestly step here and I think this is over my max, but like I said, it could be just the size of the target. I think I dropped a little bit low on yeah. it. Yeah. I think that might have been my arm. Yeah. All right, so I was gonna walk up there. And get my so that hit. second log, I think that part of what done it for me. That small log running across the front, front of there. You know, from when we walked up, I was, I, my mind said that it was only probably two yards back to the target, when really, I mean, look at that. That's, that's a fair bit, four yards. A yeah, good four and a half. Four and a half yards, yeah. So and I've dropped. yards out there, which means when I've counted back 10, and it was really eight, then I've counted another 10, which is another eight, and then I've counted 10, which is another eight. It adds up, all of a sudden I'm six yards, seven yards out. So, um, something to really look for. You know, I guess um, obstacles in front of the target. Um, have a really good assessment of how close you think they really are. Well, I might stand here, I'm yeah, safe. Yeah, I might and Al's gonna take his shot. So, step us through, you reading that? Like, so. We have already, unfortunately, yeah, but done this before. Yeah, but we already but, know. Yeah, so now because I've got the log in the in my view, I can't really, I know that's fairly close, so that's probably around the 10 yard mark to the log. Yeah. And then I know that, so yeah, I'd say we're sort of around the 24, 25 yard mark. Okay. I'm actually gonna knock just a little bit off. So I, th I feel like I'm over, Overreading it for some reason. Yeah, all right. Okay. So I'm going to actually probably shoot this for around 22, even though it's probably just a tiny bit further. Yeah. I think I've just gone right again, but looks like a fairly good height. All right. That cording away thing. Whew. Gotta pay attention to that. Yeah. Yeah, well that's right. Um, oh yeah, there is a clear shot. My first shot looks like it's right in the middle for me. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was worried about hitting your knock. to aim at. Yeah, okay, so we're quite a bit further away now. Um, all right. We're gonna try and ignore what we already know. So there is a bit of dead ground now, like in front of that log, like Alan said. Um, now you thought it was about 10, 
to yeah. that log, but I'm thinking it's further. So I'm going to add on to that. I'm going to go probably 11 or 12 onto the log. I'd say to the fork of the log. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's where I'm, I was sort of going to. Yeah it's, yeah, it's deceptive, isn't it? Now that I look straight at the log, I'm looking at the ground saying that 10 to 12, but yeah, if I look you, straight at the log, it looks closer. It does. <laughs> yeah. So what do you, do, you know, do you do your direct line of sight or do you well, do your rough estimation along the rough ground? Well, this is where I actually... Hill, downhill, yeah. downhill more and back up. And I went direct line of sight on this one, unfortunately. Yeah, I think that's sort of a bit of what you've got to do, but sometimes there's nothing in the line of sight, is there? So no. You know, if I imagine there was a target standing up at 10, you know, or somebody standing at 10 yards where that log is, yeah, I'd probably say 10 yards. So that's probably more true to the arrow flight, obviously, than what the ground's telling me. And that little tree off on the right-hand side there, I sort of called that at sort of 15 with my sort of 8 to 10 to the log. Yeah, yeah, the and log. then then I'd say, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that, maybe... Yeah, say another five or six. Yeah, see though, you look at that and you go, that's getting close to the 20 yard target, like the end indoor target, where that skinny little sapling yeah. on the right hand side. So look, I, I mean, I would look at that honestly, without knowing what we know already from up there. I'd go say that's 19 yards to that little tree. And then that's a fair gap back. It's not 10, probably eight. For 27 and yet if you were to come a couple of steps over here yeah and look at that log to that tree it looks closer to 15 just from coming a couple foot feet to the left so that tree looks closer uh yeah when you where you're standing now it looks yeah. closer than where it does standing here yeah okay all right well I'm, yeah that's a tricky one isn't it um 25, 27 Go around the 28-ish, 27 and a half, 28. Top of the 10. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're all right. Where's the range finder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting one, that one, isn't it? 27 from where I'm standing. Yep. Okay, well, that's what I dialed up. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, I'm happy call. with that. Like, yeah. it's, it's in the 10, so... Um, Doesn't explain my shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what'd you go? 20... Like 22, 23. Really? Yeah. I, I actually took quite a fair bit off because I fell for that, I fell for that little tree. I, I just yeah, didn't. you thought it was like 15 or something. Yeah. And yeah, what gets me is that the gap from that little tree back to that target. I read that as about eight, seven and a half, eight yards back. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, see where they ended up. I can't, I can't, I can't even can't see really it through the trees. See what we were talking about. We'll walk up that way. So you can see the um, dead log right here in front of us. So we, I, I eyeballed the, the fork in that right on that tip of it at about 10 yards. Oh, Jesus, Ruffy. Right, and then, so we were talking about that sapling there, that skinny little tree there, which I thought was another five yards, which probably not far off that, eh? No, pretty probably close. Maybe even slightly more. And then I thought it was seven or eight then from that tree back to the target. So um, I think I did pretty well on that one, reading all of that. Um, Very tricky. So I get the hard ones right, yeah. and I get the easy ones wrong. <laughs> All right, so we've set the little dinosaur target up. Um, we're further back than the camera is. So I'm gonna go back there. Um, so as you can see, there's a bit of dead ground shooting between trees as well, which makes it a bit harder to judge things. So we've really challenged ourselves on this last shot. So I'm gonna just turn the camera around back to where we are and you can watch us shooting and listen to our estimation uh, guessing. Jeez, I think I've done us a mischief here, Jay. All right, no <laughs> clues. Okay. Well, 
Since I set us up for this torture, I yeah. I shoot first. All right. <laughs> oh, well, you do your thing. Don't. Oh, do yeah. I'll ask you, but don't tell me anything. No. But I'll ask you after I've shot my shot. We'll ask you what. Um, yeah. How you read it. From where we're standing, um, we can almost all but see the full yeah. angling. Hey, eh? can't we see can't see from the elbows and knees like down, that. Yeah. So we're we're just seeing that the upper portion of the little dinosaur. Um, so if you read it, I feel like I need to be using my binos right now. If you, if you right think now. it's closer than it is, you're going to probably going to hit the dirt. dirt. And if you think it's further <laughs> away, you're probably going to go over pretty easily too. Yeah. So from where I'm standing, just just a quick read is that we're probably. 20 Around. plus yards of relatively flat ground and then it just disappears back to the all you can see is the dinosaur so yeah um, that could be that could be three yards back to 10 yards back further <laughs> all right so else had his shot yeah well, I might have just been lucky enough to catch the bottom of the eight on that one yeah okay so here's part of the game as well if you're shooting with with archers that you know, read read the train fairly well and shoot fairly well and they drop in a low one you know, it helps you to understand that it's a little bit further away than what oh, just pen, Al thought pen you know? <laughs> just caught the bottom of the 10 so Al knows this game better than I do and he's he's gone just caught the bottom of the 10 okay yeah nice. just caught the bottom yeah. of the 10 I can't even see your arrow <laughs> um, down there. I'll get the binos and see where the zone is for a start oh wow yeah. Okay. It's a, this is one of the trickiest targets I think I've shot in a long time. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So there's a crease in its shoulder. Running pretty much through the 10. Wow, that's further left than I thought it was going to be. All right, so like I said, there's a bit of flat ground out to about... Okay, I'll read 10... I'm going to call it closer than 20 yards. I'm going to call it about 18 before we lose sight of the ground. And then looking at the trees, so I'm going to use the trees on the right hand side because there's nothing on the left that I can see. Um, there's a tree on the top of the mound and a tree right near the dinosaur, probably just past it yeah, or pretty much right past. on it. Um, and I'm going to say that's 10 yards. Probably could even be more. Looking at those trees. Without being able to see what's over that little rise, it's so tricky. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. And you're unfamiliar with this right, target? So I'm going to think that those two trees that I'm looking at, which is virtually the dead ground part of the, what we're looking at, is 10 to 12 yards. And then I'm going to say we're about 18 to that tree. So that means we're at 28 to 30 yards. So I'm going to go, we'll dial it up in the middle of there. Yep. 29. That was in the background laughing. I am going, how the hell are we going to find this arrow? No, no. <laughs> I'm still trying to find one from like six months ago over there. <laughs> Man, that's, yeah. You love Got it. Got aim just above the dirt, don't you? Yep. Down with me, I think. Yeah, it's got to be similar, doesn't it? Yeah. So what did you, what did you think? What did I, you I, I went for just over 30. I think I put about 31 on it. Yeah, okay. So same deal. Yep. Did you think there was about 10 to 12 of dead ground? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely right, we'll at least 10 around. at least 10 yards of a false sort of a false lip from where we're standing too. So you sort of get back in the Oh, yeah. On the yeah. track down, you you've sort of got a a bit of a high spot here. Yeah, well, a little, a little so bit of So see that that tree just to the right like in front of you there. Yep. Uh, the, this way. Oh, so yeah, this one. Yeah, that one. I thought that tree back to the dyno was like 11 yards. Yeah, it'd probably be closer to 15. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. When you come up here. Yeah, that's what I mean. You, so that, I thought this tree yep. was like I said, 11 or 12 
back to that tree, but yeah, okay. And then you've got so that tree, moves, that's two and a half yard yards behind it. Behind the other one, so yeah, it's a lot further than we thought. So yeah, so Al's like gone the 10, I've gone about an inch below him into the 8 by look. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just inside the to uh, 10 and you would uh, yeah. an arrow whipped inside the 8. Yeah, so what did you say? You went about 31, I went 29. So. Yeah, which about right. About right, yeah. So I'd say it was probably 33. So good, good clean shots. Yeah, wow. Probably would have been closer to 33, I think. I might have another shot at yeah. that, this. At, oh, know, definitely. I'd... 31, 32 even. Yeah. Oh, we'll range it and see. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. We'll, what we'll do is, yeah, we'll, we'll range it and just have another shot just for fun. But being a, a target that neither one of us have ever really shot out in the bush too is, um, yeah, changes everything. All right. What I'll do is I'll zoom in, give us a bit of an idea. And we'll go back to the same spot and range it and shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's yeah, everything the 33. What? No. Same, directly 30. Yeah, 30. So what? Okay. Yeah, we shouldn't have dropped that low, should we? Well, you're in the 10. <laughs> well, yeah, but still it was low. Yeah, yeah. Only, only just caught ten, sort of thing. So I'm gonna. So I probably yeah. So I aim to just miss the mound, okay. and it is above that. Yeah. Yeah, because we really we can see the eight ring. If you. I think stand I, tall. <laughs> I think I was using there's two little nipples on its back that I used to use. <laughs> Oh, that looks good. That looks really yeah, good. A little left, but... No, I think you'll find that that, that might actually be yeah. 11, mate. Yeah, 9 o'clock 11. Yeah, right. That's a beautiful shot. Okay, so, yeah. Amazing, eh? That, that dead ground is yeah. further than we thought. Like I said, there's a, there's a kind of a... That's happened a few times today now in varying things. Is the... And it's gone both ways. What you too. think the dead ground is is generally a little bit further. Yeah. You know, something to see how we get in on. today's case, it'll we'll probably be different next week, but Yeah. <laughs> different light. Uh, yeah. I'm going to the top of it, I Don't think. No, just above mine, I think. Yeah. It's hard to see. And shot for the same distance even. It's Yeah, yeah. Did you dial up like 30, 31? Yeah, no, I went um I put my 30 pin just a fraction Don't high. See. Oh yeah, you're a fair bit higher than mine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm um very top of the ten this time. Yeah. Funnily enough, I'm I'm actually right above one of the nipples I was talking about. Yeah, okay. I can't I I couldn't see them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm an eight and you're eleven o'clock eleven o'clock eleven. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a bit of an interesting day, um Thanks, man. trying to figure out Distance estimation for 3D. Uh, we've learned a few things. That dead ground, particularly, is, a, is yeah, that's the hard one yeah, to estimate. Um, you've got to take advantage of any trees that are in between, you know, that are in that dead ground to help measure. Different angles. If there's too, no if trees. I don't know what you do. It's, it's a difficult one. All you can really rely on is the your familiarity with the target, like the size of it. Um, yeah. Try and get a side look to yeah on the way yeah. up to targets or walking up to the peg if you can yeah, yeah. take yeah, a sometimes yeah a bit of a as you're walking along between targets and you can spot a target you'll usually you'll be following a group and you'll know which way they're going which way they're shooting you can sort of have a bit of a glance you know side on and see you give, give you a hand um, all these little things you got to take advantage of I guess so yeah all right well thanks for uh, tuning in and like I said we're going to do another video shortly about that uh, crossover point on your boat but I hope uh, this helps out others get more familiar with uh, distance estimation and yeah familiar with 3d great sport great fun thanks Al no worries thanks, thanks again mate. I thoroughly enjoyed it today yeah good let's go and uh, have a drink <laughs> definitely